Don't don't look at me. Make a move. We are back here on Change Our Minds. All right, I want to talk about this Ant-Man 3 Kang, the Conqueror news with my man Jody. Jody, up, guys? you have not been excited about Ant-Man, I nope. think, ever. Is that safe to say? Oh, that's safe. That's very safe. Okay, good, because I think I'm finally getting interested in where Ant-Man 3 could take us. The question <laughs> I have, oh. which I want to fight you on for a little bit, could Ant-Man 3 save the MCU? I assume wow. you're going to say no, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, ah, <laughs> what did you just say? What question did you just ask me? Could Ant-Man 3 save the MCU? Ah! <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, oh. <laughs> That was good. I had no idea he was going to ask me that. I didn't even know this was a topic. That's good. It's a live reaction, by the way. Oh, I, I knew you would react. <laughs> okay, like, let's go. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm going to give you this in. All right, it's going to work. <laughs> so, uh, here's why. Here's here's where you're not you're you're ignoring this fact because we got uh, we got a lot of reasons. So, Kang, Kang's a big villain in the MCU. That that's a fact. I, you know, look, I, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of him in the comics, but he's he's a. He, he, I like that he can go through time. There's different versions of him. He's I heard a he's dope. Yeah, he's a good villain. He's a. It's a good opportunity to do it. But what this brings into it is he's very close to the Fantastic Four. So the reason I'm excited about Ant Man three because I don't believe Ant Man three is actually going to be about Ant Man. I love Ant Man when he is the comic <laughs> relief. Wasp, cool. She's there to kick ass. Awesome. I'm excited because I think this announcement of Kang the Conqueror, who is being played by, I forget his uh, this actor's name, um, what's his name, from the uh, Jonathan May- Majors uh, from Defy Bloods, Love Defy Country Blood. Country. He's joining Peyton Reed's Ant-Man 3 as Kang the Conqueror. So, uh, cool. Uh, down, okay. But this inclusion of Kang the Conqueror, to me, implies that Ant-Man 3 is going to be the Civil War of the next phase. Ant-Man 3 is going to not only, I think, tap into Kang the Conqueror introduction, quantum, more quantum physics stuff, whatever, quantum realm stuff. Uh, I think this will be the introduction, as many are saying, to the Fantastic Four. This is the perfect opportunity to give us interesting characters. And I hope it's John Krasinski, Emily Blunt. I'm hoping, because Ant-Man has always sort of been worth with them. He can sort of, there's so many ways to connect Ant-Man's sort of story to the Fantastic Four and then introduce Kang the Conqueror through that. He could be uh, Fantastic Four could have fought him in the past or the future. They could come back from any point to sort of introduce them or some of the characters in Ant-Man 3. And Peyton Reed has already said this one's going to be bigger. He's made that clear, sort of alluded to it. The other thing that's great about Peyton Reed is Peyton Reed has been trying to make a Fantastic Four movie for years. He was up to do the one uh, that, wow, with Tim Story, I think, in Ultimate, I forget who, but that Jessica Alba one, Chris Evans one, he was supposed mm. to do a version of it, but then it, it ultimately didn't go through. And his vision was like a 1960s action movie, really taking advantage of who they are, sort of like a live action Incredibles, which is what I always sort of saw Fantastic Four working as. So to me, all of this, oh! Yeah. Marcos never watched Ant-Man or Ant-Man 2 it just doesn't interest me at all and will not see <laughs> well yes. I'll we take it guys. since you paid $50 Marcos cheers uh, me too but for, to that now but if you're not excited hear me out though because I know there's right. a delay Story directed it. Marcos but yes uh I know Ant-Man 1 eh. Ant-Man 2 I thought was more fun because they took advantage of the premise and they made sort of like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids action movie. For a family movie, my kids and I loved it. I loved the shrink up and down. It was a cool effect. As a movie, like, no, it's not in the top tier by any stretch of the imagination, but it wasn't, like, boring. Paul Rudd's fun. It's a simple sort of, you know, not a, non-offensive Marvel entry is what, I, what I'm saying. So I'm not defending that one to the grave. However, if you were to take some of that funness and add a Paul Rudd, sprinkle Paul Rudd's always good, Jody. I love that video we just did about wearing masks. A sprinkle of Paul Rudd. And then an introduction of Fantastic Four, sort of like like Civil War did with Black Panther or, you know, other ones. If we can turn Ant-Man 3 into an introduction to Fantastic Four movie. All right. I'm excited about the MCU. That, that is a direction I could finally get excited about. And it could finally get me excited about the Ant-Man trilogy. So tell me, how there's nothing there that could excite you? Uh, there's nothing there that I see now that that could excite me until I, I have to see it. I don't know enough about Kang the Conqueror. People have told me, whispered in my ear that he's dope, great villain in the Marvel Universe. 
which I would believe. I believe the fans of Marvel Comics. So I'll take that into account. But based on everything that you said, bro, this should be called Can Fantastic Four Save the MCU? <laughs> Not Ant-Man 3, brother. I'm sorry. I understand what you tried to do there. But nah, it's setting up maybe him. You're saying he could bring Fantastic Four? I'm excited for Fantastic Four. The, the MCU doesn't need saving. Let's, 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 it, it's, it's fine the way it is. Now, do we want it to be better? Could it be better? Yes. Uh, post Thanos, is it going downhill? It seems that way. But there's a couple of things that could happen that could get us right back into the interest train like we were back in 2016. That's announcing Fantastic Four, and that's announcing, or it's announcing X-Men. Uh, there's only two things, mainly one thing, that could really save the MCU as far as like keeping it on top for some considerable time uh, fighting against DC and it's X-Men. So I already, and I already know that's coming. So I don't have any doubt that the MCU is going to be great and awesome. I don't think it's dying. I don't think it needs saving. I just feel like as quality of film, you know how, you know, Martin Scorsese said they're amusement park films. I don't like that because it's true. Most of the MCU films are amusement park films. I, I don't like that they're so kiddie. I do want more Winter Soldier, Black Panther, Civil War type of films in the MCU. But I understand that Kevin Feige is doing more of the inclusion, woke, kiddie, laugh, fun-hearted amusement park movies. So save the MCU, in my opinion, and I believe maybe this is how you feel as well. If they make them more serious and gritty, then I think that that's awesome. But I think X-Men could bring that. Ant-Man 3? miss me i ain't even gonna I don't even, i'm not even gonna go watch this and man the wasp is probably the worst mcu movie next to captain marvel i'm good oh worse than thor 2 i would watch thor the dark world before i watch ant-man and the wasp oh my it, god you're crazy Ant-Man and the wasp did not need to exist it is a waste of money it did nothing it's just more of ant-man one but less funny less clever and the big getting big and small that you love so much that man one did that already. No, not as well. Not Who's as well. Ghost? Where's she at? She was a wasted villain. And Giant Man, you wasted him as well. Where's yeah, Malakith? Is bad. Where's Malakith or what's her name? Darcy. I mean, come on. Malakith Thor brought in awful. the ether, one of the reality stones that was part of the Infinity Saga. So he had a purpose. This movie, Emma the Wasp, had no purpose except talking about a quantum realm, which was shoehorned to save the, the, the universe in Endgame. So. Same thing. Malekith actually, hey, and, and Thor's mom died at the hands. Uh, Malekith got put hands on by Thor's mom, which was kind of dope. You know, there was some there were some moments in there, but Thor Dark World's a bad movie, I would I could say, but uh, M and the Wasp is worse. I'd rather watch a bad movie than a boring movie, and M and the Wasp bores me to death. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I know. When you've seen it with your kids, it's different. No, I, I had fun with it. It's I, I Thor oh, two. Man. I didn't have any fun with Thor two. Is so so boring. So, I, but I, whatever. I, I I agree. It needs a it needs a kick up. Something needs to happen in Avengers three. There's talk that it could start the Young Avengers. In which case, if that's what happens, then I would I would change the my Avengers mind. Is not the future. And I would z- zip out of that because it's like oh his daughter's gonna I'm grow. Gonna and if it. if they go that direction. Oh. Then man, it's like Avatar doing the young Navi. I couldn't, I, I could totally didn't care less. Uh, couldn't care less than that. But it's like if they could figure out a way to tie it into Fantastic Four, where Ant Man becomes like like in the comics, Ant Man was part, sort of there. He was, you know, uh, what? Um, uh, Hank Pym. Joke, Hank Pym was part of that sort of team up at a certain point so, and the, of the Avengers and everything. So if they right. could figure out a way to do that, and then there's tie, Kang the Conqueror has ties to Doctor Doom, has ties to Rick, Richard Reed. Uh, uh, he's related to them, as everything I've sort of been looking up, trying to learn more about um, Kang the Conqueror, because I wasn't as familiar but I, 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 in doing the research for that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, po- possibilities there um, for him Without to Black connect. Without Black those those things don't have as much, they don't shine as bright. Without, you know, you mentioned Reed Richards. Yeah, Reed Richards' father. He's also uh, the name of, uh, so Kang's alias is Nathaniel Richards, who is the name of Reed Roger, Reed Richards, sorry. Reed Richards' father, who's also a time traveler, uh, which has created a lot of fusion, but this moment, Creed is not, Richard, he's not his father. Though the fusion time traveling would be interesting. So they could, it's, there's wa- there's ways to connect them is the bottom line. Um, okay. So that, that to me would get me interested in Ant-Man if they do a Civil War type of movie. Oh, Andy, you as know a this movie's going to have so many jokes in it. You know this is going to be a family movie. I don't movie. have a problem with Paul Rudd telling jokes. He's funny. I, 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 I don't have a problem with Paul Rudd telling jokes either because he is funny. I have a problem with the whole film being a joke that doesn't have any stakes. And that's what Ant-Man well, is. I don't care. If no, Mar- no Marvel movie really has stakes. 
<laughs> Civil War had many of stakes. Winter Soldier had many stakes. Black Panther had many stakes. Yeah. Infinity War and Everybody Endgame. sort of movies have stakes. The villains lose, but I mean, no, there's ton, there's lots of Marvel movies. Iron Man one had stakes. There's movies with stakes, and then there's movies. Yeah, I'm with talking about these are days. Not. The movies, and it's not a coincidence, ladies and gentlemen. The MCU movies that have stakes are the best MCU movies. Black Panther, Civil War, Winter Soldier, Iron Man one. Uh, Infinity War, people like the Avengers one, Avenger, all the Avengers movies. It's the it's those jokey, boring, weak movies that that don't matter. And I have no interest in going to see another amusement park movie. I can guarantee you, Ant Man three will be another formulaic MCU formula theme park movie. And I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in X Men. I'm interested in Fantastic Four. I need something new. I got enough of Ant Man for the last five years. I'm done with him, bro. His time to shine has come and it has gone. I'm done with Thor. I'm done with that Hulk. Give me new characters. Give me new stories to take me into the future. It is not Ant Man. Weird. Uh, I I don't have a problem if they if they come up with a cool twist to change it up. But I'll respect that. That's all I got on this topic. I got nothing more. I don't really care that much. Again, we've shared sort of the news here. Kang the Conqueror. Interesting. Uh, but Kang the Conqueror, give him a shot. Let's see what Ant Man worked. Ant Man works as a supporting character to me. So if that's what they do, oh. then sign me up. So uh, yep. if he, if they do that. I'm in. He's the guy that comes out of the van in Civil War. Oh, it's nice to meet you, heroes. Hi, Cap. Yeah, oh my God, he works you. in that right. So if they, if, they, if yeah. they're wise and they make Ant Man three more about like that and yes. Fantastic Four and Kang and and use sort of him in the quantum realm to introduce all this other cool new stuff, then I'm on board. And they have some fun with it. He gets to do his comic riffs. They do some some big shrinking stuff. Then I'm then I'm happy. Until then, no, I'm not. I'm not excited. But that's my problem. Until Fantastic Four or a Doctor Doom or something big like that happens, some big you know, multi-movie long thread. I, I just don't care anymore. There's nothing. That's the only reason I'm interested about like WandaVision and Multiverse of, of Madness is because like, all right, maybe we'll finally get something there. But in the meanwhile, another one, David March. Thank you. What, what movie? movie in the MCEU deserves the Logan treatment? Hard R story. Good question. We're going to handle that live. I'm trimming this for YouTube to end this topic, but I'll be following up. If you watch this live, you should have because it was over there, or you can become a member today. Uh, join. You can always catch the full show, always hear all the tangents we go down. Thank you so much for watching on the replay. If you're watching live, don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Check out Jody's Corner, as always, uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Peace. Peace out, y'all.